Hello everybody, welcome back to some Skyrim Special Edition, uh, picking up where I believe we left off. Uh, we're going to go do a couple quests, miscellaneous quests that we picked up that just happen to take place on the eastern shore here where we are, and we're going to go uh, and clear that one cave that we found. So the first quest we're going to do here is search for the treasure of Hackmere Deathbrand which, as you can imagine, takes place in Hackmere Shoal. Um, I don't specifically remember this quest, but... Uh, so I don't really remember what the treasure is. I want to say it's a weapon of some kind, but... I'm not 100% on that. And I know that there's a weapon, I don't think we got it called Corker's Bane. But I don't remember if that's this or not. I don't. I don't think so. Shut up. Oh, apparently I had Dragon Rand equipped, not Soul Tear. Oops. Uh, soul Tear. Uh, but yeah, there is a mace called Orker's Bane, but I don't remember if I, uh, forgot it. Alright, uh, Hackner Deathbrand. Oh yeah, this is way too long for me to read. Nope. But we do have a treasure map here. So here is the treasure map. And I forgot what button it was to zoom in. Uh, it's also apparently not here. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, there's one... Oh, good god. Just everywhere. Uh, maybe it's an armor set then, because I think there'll be... One piece of the armor here. Oh, is that an East Empire one? I don't know where it probably is, right? And we're actually going to have quite a few of these to turn in once we uh, go back to Ravenrock to turn them in. Damn it. Oh, come on. So close. Oh, fuck you. I need better lockpicks, man. I need to make myself some dragon bone lockpicks, right? Like, there's no reason that my lockpicks have to be this fucking shitty, right? I mean... There we go. Uh, do I want all that? I do. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that there should be uh, glass shield. Oh, coin purse. Ah, oh, there it is. There should be a chest. Yes. Because actually, come to think of it, we're actually on that one island. We're on that northeast island that was on the map. Now, I think I'm also going to grab a shovel. I don't think that I have to dig them up, but... There we go. The Death Brand. Water breathing and plus 100 armor while wearing a complete set of the Death Brand armor. It's also light armor, which is pretty nice. That it gives you uh, the extra armor. because then And it's stall rim. Which means it already has a pretty decent armor rating. Uh, there's also something else that I need to pick up, but I don't really remember what it is. But anyway. Okay, so the next one is completely south. Next piece is completely south, like right around here. Okay. So we'll 
travel to Fort Frostmoth here. Let's get indoors, or in a cave, anywhere, just out of this. Alright. You know what I've always found weird? Shows where vampires burn in daylight, but like, while wearing clothes. Ash yam. Are those an ingredient or just food? Just food. Let's munch on those, why not? Somebody fighting over here. Oh, an arch cryomancer versus a pyromancer. Oh, and a lurker. And a flame cloak spider. Good god, there's so much going on around here. I also like how they stopped in the middle of their fight to attack me, and actually, I just saw that I apparently never grow. A Vindicator, that's one of the higher level ones. Ugh. Still not doing any damage though, which is odd. Because he should have done at least some. Oh, and Saran is still being attacked. Done and done. By what? Oh, another spider? Oh, the spiders are just disappearing. But I see we can get some more Hearthstone. Oh, now what am I in combat with? Oh, another spider. Good god. Now, what was I saying? I honestly don't remember now. Uh, let's see. Oh my, is this where the spiders were coming from? Yeah, Serana, I just, I already, you know what, go for it. Oh, right, there is some ingredient that I need. But I don't remember exactly what it is, and we'll need it when we go to Raven Rock, because we've only got these two quests before we go there. And then we'll clean up a bunch of the, uh, Um, clean up a bunch of the miscellaneous quests that are just like, hey, bring me this, hey, do this, like, in town, stuff like that, just to get them out the way. And I want to say it's Netch Jelly that I need, which is what those things over there in the water are. They're non-hostile, but I don't remember if there's a way to, uh, also, is this even the right, where are we, which side of this are we on? No, we are not, not quite on the right side of it. Oh, but here's some more hearthstone. Um, but I don't know if there's a way to get it peacefully, you know? <sighs> you know, it's weird that they, uh, that vault that we have there that I downloaded, it has... It has stuff for... Ow, ow. It has stuff from this from the Dragonborn DLC in it, but it doesn't have like places like it doesn't have very many armor places, you know. But like I really looked for, I really looked for a place that had like enough for like all like the unique or mostly unique stuff. But I never, I couldn't find one. The only ones I could find, like, immediately crashed my game. Okay. Now, like I said, I don't, I don't remember if you have to dig this shit up or not. I don't think so. That must be the netches making that noise. They sound like whales. But I'm more or less there. It just shows about this location, like, and it should be on this side of the water. We'll run up to these things, because like I said, they're non-hostile, but I don't think that there's a way to, like, 
Yeah, you can't like harvest anything from them. But I think where that one is, I do believe there's a guy sitting next to him. I think I can buy nice jelly from him. Along here is supposed to be. Maybe it's, yeah, I was gonna say, maybe it's further in than the thing would indicate. And yeah, it looks like they'll all be conveniently dug out by, you know, nearby dead people. So I'm guessing that's why the ash spawn were there, were to, uh, to explain away why this is dug out, or, and yet they didn't take anything, and why it's not even unlocked. Uh, increase your carrying capacity by 10 for each death brand item you wear. Well, since there's only four that you can wear, because I think it's just armor, I don't think there's weapons to go with it. Um, maybe there is, I don't know. Uh, that would only be like 40 points, which honestly isn't all that good. It's a, it's a cool enchantment, for sure, but... Okay, so the next one is out there on that little, like, doohickey. It's like up here-ish. No. Okay. okay, and we'll fast travel over there in a minute, but like I said, I want to go and talk to this guy here who owns this Netch, because I think I can buy Netch jelly from him, and I think I can buy it. Hello, oh, Weavis. Right, look on your face. I'm guessing you've never seen a silk strider before. No, what is it? This is Dusty. I personally trained her from a lava. Seems like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let her go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. How do you survive out here? We get bar trading odds and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here, although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silk starters are pretty rare now. Take a look. All right. Uh, ingredients, ash hopper. Well, you do sell one Nets jelly. Kagramaz resonance gem. Sure, I'll buy that too. I am assuming that I'll need that at some point. Thanks, buddy. Safe travel. So yeah, this is Dusty. As you can see, they outfitted him to uh, to carry people, which just looks like they carved into the creature's back, but I'm assuming it's fine. And if it isn't, it's not really much I can do about that. And actually, come to think of it, if I'm not mistaken, this quest here that we're currently on, this death brand one, I think this actually sends us into uh, into a dungeon at the end of it, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I think once we find all four pieces, like, we'll get attacked or uh, something happens when we get the last piece, and then it sends us into... Uh, I knew it! <laughs> Yeah, you knew what? That you shouldn't have fucking came here? Dumbasses. Um. Oh, yeah, there's another death friend book. Oh, are we already? Oh, we are already there. Oh, this one's only in a death block chest. It's not even an expert one. But yeah, I think that it, uh. We end up going into some place and we may actually fight this death friend guy. Increase your stamina by 15 for each death brand item you wear. So that's 60, which is pretty good. I mean, that's the equivalent to 6 levels, which is fucking a lot. Ugh, I would go out there and kill them for their nets jelly, but not only does it seem mean, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, no, I need to look at the map first. Okay, so just a little bit north of some river that's there. Okay, so if we go up, that would be this river here, and it's like over here somewhere, I guess. No, not that far. 
Yeah, it doesn't really show anything on the coast. But since we don't, do we have, what's our closest fast travel point there? It would be Blood Skull Barrow. I guess we could go to North Shore Landing and work our way south as well. And then we could also hit up the stall room source while we're there. Because I think that that is the right way to get there is more or less from this from our destination, like going up the mountain that way. But it also, if we just continue north, we'll hit up the water stone as we go by and we can cleanse that. So I think we'll just head north. We'll also have, I'm assuming, more chances for random encounters to try and complete our last uh, Skull Village quest. Since we do still need that, but... I don't know how many random encounter locations there are along the uh, bottom here, or along the shore here. Seems to be a lot of Nurnru. There's also some kind of hostile over there. Hostile. It's not hostile. Free lodging. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh. Alright. Got a pig. Look at this PC. Fuck you then. Bristleback. Been hunting. Oh, Vortus, let's chomp on that, why not? Ow, ow, fucker. A red guard. Random red guard in ebony armor. The fuck is your problem, bitch? Every time I get attacked by somebody as well, I need to look around because, like I said, it's a random encounter to find his brother. And I think there's a chance you can find him dead. I don't remember if it's that, like, when you find him, he's in combat. Or maybe it's when you find him, he fights you or something. I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty sure he doesn't make it. That must be the windstone. So we'll head up there. I'm assuming that's just Serana. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go piss off Mirak some more. Ooh, it looks like we do have some. Stupid cultist. Oh, we actually got some... Oh, we actually have quite a few not... Is there any? Oh, there isn't, like, any uh, bad guys here. Uh, Benjo. Well, get out the water. Looks like everybody survived, so that's good. There's a dragon way out there, but that's fine. Hope our shipments are still good. How long has it when the tide goes, we'll go with it. Best be shoving Take off. Care. Okay, so these are from a boat, I guess. Next time. <laughs> no fire. All my years, I've never seen it this way. Now is Jackass gonna come and steal this one from me too? Oh, this was not a very good dragon. It only had one bone and one scale. I hadn't seen it what happened? We're already late. Not sure why we decided to take such By a descending short. It may be dead now. But where did yeah. it come from? Oh, what the hell? Reclean attack. So these are Reeklings. They uh, throw arrows. But we need these. We need 50 reclean spears for a quest. And the last time I played this DLC, 
Uh, also, their spears are arrows. By the way, you can you can use them in your bow, and uh, if you shoot one with an arrow, just like how enemies will equip arrows that you've uh, that you've shot them with, uh, Reeklings will also equip your arrows that you, can, that you shoot. So, like if you shoot them with a Daedric arrow, their little Reekling spear will turn into a Daedric uh, a Daedric one. And you can get some of them as followers, but uh, we won't be. It's it, it's weird. It's one of those quests where they're really realistically there's a right answer, but at the same time, it's not completely black and white. You know, where it's like it's clear that this is the correct way to do it, but at the same time, the other way isn't like entirely wrong. But yeah, those guys are from this boat out here, the ones who were working on that. Who were working on the windstone. Oh look, these ones are on shore. Maybe I'll kill these ones for their jelly. Another boar. Oh, and here's our river. I don't remember if they're even all that hard to kill. But yeah. we'll see. Like I said, there I don't remember how much nets jelly I need. So I won't worry about it right now. If I need to, I can always come and kill these ones since they're on the shore and they'll I'm pretty sure always be there. And hey, look at that, there's already a chest. Ah oh, fuck, not man will. Reeklings. Got some squares up there in the sky, which is weird. And Serana rose brought a mud crab up. Nice. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, last time I played this game, or I played this DLC, I uh, was determined to do all the quests. And clear all the locations, just like this time. Uh, but I didn't really look up very much about where they were and everything. Uh, so I made it to the end of the DLC. And I had one quest. I, I needed a couple of pieces of ore of some kind. Which, you know, whatever. I can always go and get ore. Um, oh, fuck. I forgot to look up. But yeah, there's the key. Uh, what did I get? Gauntlets. Well, dual wielding, your one-handed attacks do 10% more damage for each death brand item you wear, which would give you 40% more damage, which is pretty fucking good. Okay. Oh my god, that's way over there. Alright. Well, you know what? We'll head up to... Well, actually, first I will remove that, and then we'll head up the mountain here to see if we can get to the stall room source from here. Like, I believe you can. Um, because, like I said, I think this is the correct way to go. To get there, and I, I don't... I don't believe... How do you spell Stalrim? Right, the H is on that side for some reason. Okay. Oh, look at the little fox. So yeah, this death brain quest may not actually be this entire part, in all honesty. Oh, I think it's just over these rocks over here. Uh, see, I forgot actually what it was until we picked up that first piece. It's like, oh yeah, you gotta you gotta go treasure hunting, and then you get yeah, and then you get a dungeon. 
It's one of those things. It slowly came back to me. But yeah, it was very annoying uh, when I finished this DLC last time because I had two quests left. I went and got the orb, but then I needed 50 reclaimed spears. But since I'd already cleared every location, it I didn't have anywhere to get reclaimed spears, and I had it took me forever. Oh wow! This is um, gorgeous. I'm glad you're here with me. Because I had to just run around. Hoping that Reeklings would spawn. And then... I And then keep checking back at the dungeons and that. And the caves that they were in. To, uh... In the hopes. In the vain, vain hope. That it had repopulated. But because it takes so long for them to repopulate. And if you actually get them... Like, cleared... It's, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot that the, uh... I forgot that those stones that were cleansing actually do, like, you can activate them, kind of like, uh... Kind of like the Guardian Stones and whatnot. The Standing Stones back in Skyrim. Um, when you activate them, they give you, they do give you stuff. I don't remember what it is. The windstone, I think, just gives you a spell. But yeah, it's, it's weird. Alright, uh, nope, just going with that Warhammer. I haven't leveled up yet, right? Oh, I'm so close to leveling up. But yeah, so this here's the Stallrim source. It's just basically a big barrel where everybody got buried outside instead of inside. And because of that, I guess they get covered in Stallrim. They never really explain what Stallrim is or why it gets or why it coats dead bodies. Like it grows out of these dead guys. And they never explain it, I don't think. Maybe, uh, when we find that guy's brother, we'll probably have to go and tell him about it. Uh, and maybe we'll speak to the blacksmith once we're there. He's the one who taught us how to use Stallrim and whatnot, so. I think this is the last one I'll do, and then in between this part and next part, I'll come back and finish mining them all, because I don't think that there's anything special about this place. I'm pretty sure that that whole quest uh, is just for you to unlock the ability to make Stallrim stuff, and then you obviously get this map so that you can get a buttload of Stallrim to make said stuff that you just learned. So, yeah. Actually, how many are left? Because I think there's still, like, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's five left. I'm not going to make too much to that. Not when we have an entire borrow here to barrow, borrow, whatever. To go through. Alright. How far down is it? Eh, it should be fine for me. This run, I'll have to find a way around, but... Oh, that reminds me. What was that movie called? Something Explorers? It had Chris Farley and Matthew Perry in it, and it was fucking hilarious. They were... They were, like, trying to beat Christopher Columbus to explore and discover North America or some shit. Um, but there was one part in it where they were... Uh, they needed to get down to this beach. Well, for one part, throughout the entire movie, Chris Farley keeps getting attacked by a giant eagle. Um, but yeah, he keeps getting attacked by, uh, by an eagle, uh, throughout the movie. But, there's one part where they're trying to make it down to a beach, I don't remember why. And, uh... They're looking for a way down. 
and he ends up just like going over the cliff. On. The single richest treasure trove in all of Soul's time, they said. Ah, looks like this place was cleaned out centuries ago. The star room might be worth something, but my pickaxe ain't even good enough to chip it. Still, I can't shake the feeling that there's something I'm missing. There's an odd draft in this room. Secret passage, maybe? Lock myself in until those bandits are good and gone. I suppose I'll keep looking, not much else I can do. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he fucking tumbles down this cliff. Like, like it's a big cliff, too. And then he makes it to the bottom... And, like, Matthew Perry and the other guys just, like, are down there. I think they need to put a flag there. They need to, like, claim it or something. And, uh, he's like, how did you guys make it down here? And they're like, oh, there's, like, this footpath, like, right over there. Uh, but, yeah, it's a really funny movie. But I can't remember the name of it. I say it's a really funny movie. I can remember, like, two or three scenes from the movie. Uh, so for all I know, the rest of the movie was shit, but the parts I remember were funny anyway. Oh, no, hang on. You can have that back. I'm not, no. Uh, star. Oh, right. I picked those up so that if I did decide to make new armor, I wouldn't have to bother actually making that piece. If I decide to outfit me and Serana with stall room. For the remainder of our Dragonborn adventure, but I still don't know if I should or not. It's a lot of effort. Because I gotta make it, I gotta respec myself so I can make it, and upgrade it, and then enchant it all, and just, ugh. Oh. There it is. So this is why he fell to draft. It also doesn't make sense because, like, the Star Room always forms around dead bodies, but there is no dead body here. Like, if anything, there should have been, like, one in there so that when you broke through, it just kind of, like, fell out or something. Or at least one lane, like, in behind it. But, whatever. I don't know why they bothered to lock that door, since you can't get in here any other way. Oh, yeah, also, pile of gold. And there was apparently 22 gold there. I don't think Serana made it in with me, did she? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Steel plate gauntlet. Potion. Yeah, look at all this treasure. And because I have the, uh... <laughs> because I have... Oh, nice, it opens that too. Uh, the Prowler's Prophet or whatever, the Crown of Baron Zaya. Uh, the chests and that in here are going to be more profitable than all these piles of gold. Oh, I didn't want the plate. Shocking, I know. It's a nice plate, but... I also like how it locks you into the treasure room. Like, instead of having that door locked so people can't get at the treasure, it has it locked so that once they get in the treasure, they're stuck there. Maybe the, uh... Maybe the goal is to have them pick up all the treasure and maybe organize it a bit, you know? And then when they die, all the treasure will be in one nice spot. Oh my god, so much. So, so much. And once again, I don't know why they bother to lock these if, like, you need the key to get into this place in the first, like, like, you can't get in here without the key. So I don't know why they would bother locking stuff in here that is in here, like, maybe it's just because it's like, oh, well, in, you know, in reality, you know, you should be able to pick the law that so, you know, or you might be able to force your way through the key or and whatnot, but... Okay, I think the only thing I actually fucked up picking up was the plate. I don't remember what I need that for. I just bought it because it's like, this is clearly a thing. And I want to say that there's like a few more of them. Yeah, like literally everything is fucking locked. Oh, actually, you know what I can do though? If I'm not mistaken, I have... Uh, a spell somewhere in here. Maybe it's under powers. Uh, maybe not. I thought I had...
I thought I had a spell that came with AFD that let me teleport my follower to me. Yeah, I can teleport the pads. Oh well. Actually, now that I think about it. Actions, summon. There we go. It worked. Hey, Serana. Now at least I'll know. Whatever we lose, or I'll be able to. I'll. I'll hopefully remember that. And I can just like pop her. In the place. Okay, well I got blood scythe, but since mortal fool, no one hides from the dead. Um I was gonna say, I'm assuming that I'm gonna get a second weapon here. You are not welcome here. I wonder, can I soul trap? She raised a skeleton. Did she raise Hackmere? She did. She brought the fucking skeleton to life to fight them. Oh, that's fucking funny. That's hilarious. But yeah, I think I do get a second weapon here once. Yeah, once we actually kill this guy. Plant him in the ground. Oh, that was it. Grand Soul Gem. Ring of Lock. Soul Render. When wielded with Blood Scythe, absorbs 15 magic items, has a chance to dispel magical defenses. So basically, if they put up one of those wards. And Blood Scythe, when wielded with Soul Render, absorbs 15 health and has a chance to weaken enemy armor. So yeah, if they put up one of the mana skin spells. Or uh, a ward spell, and you hit them with the one, it'll take it away. And then obviously the other one, it says it weakens their armor. I'm assuming it just, I don't know if like it actually applies like uh, uh, armor debuff to them, or if it just ignores part of the armor. It must apply the debuff, otherwise it would say that it ignores armor, because that is a separate thing. Another nice. And I do believe that we actually even have uh displays for that. Also you may have noticed that like after Hackmere there disappeared as we killed this crew, this lit up. Uh I'm pretty sure you had although we seem to kill more than there was light, so I don't know if that really had anything to do with it, or maybe it was just like a timer and it just slowly lit up. Well, that's fun. This is gorgeous. I'm glad you're here with me. Okay. It's weird. It's, it's a weird thing to say on our way back out. I'm no fan of the sun, but it would be better than this. All right. Uh, let's see. How long have we been going? Only 40 minutes. And this bone mold formula is up here, and I'm going to assume it's in. We'll fast travel to here. We'll see if it's in a dungeon. Although it's only been going for 40 minutes. So even if it is in a dungeon, we should be fine to grab it. If it is in a cave. Yeah, trolley boy. Screw you. Take your fat. Why not? Anybody else? Uh oh, I didn't actually mean to walk off of that, but whatever. I guess we'll just continue down and hope the cave is down here. 
I can see the footprints. Castle Karstag. Oh, I remember this place. Fight the, the strongest enemy in all of Skyrim, actually. I do believe if we go through here, we will anyway. Thieves Guild variant. That's interesting. I'll take those, I guess. Uh, here's a formula for the improved bone mold I mentioned in my last letter. Take whatever gold you make from the sale and make sure our little sister is taken care of. Add the bone and the void salts. Yeah. Maybe now when we do this, when we turn this quest in, we'll learn what I thought we could learn. Also, you gotta watch for these little reeklings, because they do, uh... Yeah, Serrani, you get them. I can't. Oh, did you find more? Well, I should be able to get up to 50 spears rather quickly. I don't think these guys give me grand souls, which is why I'm not soul pairing them, but... Uh, but yeah, you do have to watch as you go through these places because uh, when you're at a lower level, we should be fine. But... They, uh, they actually bury themselves in the snow. Also, yes, you search their entire house. You just, like, lift the flaps on their house. It's like, okay, all this is mine. Um, but yeah, they do bury themselves in the snow, so, like, as you're walking along, it might be clear, and then as soon as, like, you walk past the point, all of a sudden there's, like, five of them that pop out of the snow. Um. Huh. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, also, if you if you uh, were like me and forgot about or didn't know about the quest for the Reclaim Spears, you can also just find one and have him constantly throw them at you and pick them up out the ground as long as he doesn't hit you. You should be good. They tore through the other weakling that she had raised. Okay, uh, we can't actually get up there, but uh, I will be able to at some point. That's a cool door. I like that door, the icy door. There, nope, some bones. But yeah, at the end of this place, there's actually this, like I said, the strongest enemy in the game, who I believe does not have a level cap as well. Uh, Aldwin also doesn't have a level cap, but Aldwin, very easy fight no matter what level you are. Theoretically, should be harder the higher level you get, but... Or at least the difficulty, since it doesn't have a level cap, should remain consistent no matter what level you're at. But, well, I guess it does. It, it is consistently easy. Uh, but this enemy, no matter what difficulty you're at, very hard. Uh, takes a lot of damage, does a lot of damage. Even though I uh, mitigate, like, 80%. Or more damage, depending on what type of damage is hitting me. Uh, I I still have to worry about dying. Damn. 
There's one over here as well. No. I don't think just because you're under there. My archery randomly increased, and that's nice because that'll level me up. And with that level... Actually, hang on, let's see. I have 353 carry weight right now. I have 289 carry weight now. <laughs> I got rid of like 60 fucking whatever the unit of measurement is. Which is nice because that's basically the equivalent to taking... Like a lot of people are shit on those perks condition because there's one in the light armor as well. And obviously in the light armor skill tree it's a little less worth it. Um, because obviously light armor weighs less to begin with. But it's still... Hello. But it still gets... like it, It's the equivalent of a perk that gives you X amount of carry weight. Of carrying capacity. Because like... For me it just gave me like 60. Because I'm wearing heavy armor. And Saran is still stuck. That's fun. Um... But even like with light armor, it's the equivalent I mean, one perk point to get 60 carry capacity isn't bad. Another one somewhere. Oh, probably up top. Take all that. These spears don't weigh anything, right? Yeah. Also, you will see that the Reekling, or as you can see, the Reeklings do have a bunch of just like random crap for loot. Because uh, they don't they don't know value for anything, so they just take everything. Because everything has value to them at the same time, nothing has value to them, you know. Like they just want everything, therefore they take everything. Uh. No, I think I go down first and kill all their pigs. Uh, actually, when we're outside. Uh, there is a decent chance that we'll run across some uh, Reeklings actually riding these pigs. I think there's also one throwing spears at me. Because I keep hearing something like hit the ground near me. I kind of have to assume that's what it is. But as you can see, the Reeklings aren't much of a threat. They... Although the pig did damage me, but, but surprisingly enough, the weaklings throw in their little spears uh, doesn't do a whole lot to dragon bone armor. There you go. Now you're no longer stuck. I feel like that would be a good thing, like. For like Elder Scroll 6. That should be just a thing they have. Something that lets you like just bring your follower to you. Or like unstick your follower, you know. Because while it doesn't happen a huge amount, and when it does happen, it's fairly annoying. And there are some locations where it's like almost guaranteed that your follower is gonna get stuck somewhere. Also, as you may have guessed already, there really isn't anything too noteworthy in these caverns. Oh wait, that was a goblet. I think I read that as Garnet for a second there. Last shield. So as you can see, they do actually get some good stuff every once in a while. But for the most part, a lot of their a lot of their loot is just trash. Although, Dragon Scale Shield, look at that. That's a good fucking find if I cared. But I mean, in a in a playthrough where you're not making your own stuff, that would be an amazing find, especially if you were a shield user. They also like to hide in barrels and that. Like, they bury themselves in snow. There's also 
points where like you'll walk past a bunch of barrels and then just like the barrels will all explode. Ow! Oh, speaking of Reeklings riding bo boars, there's the Castle Karstag Key. Yeah, so this here, we need a. I don't think we can actually do anything here right now. We've uh, unlocked the place. Unlock full stack master lock, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll get a skull at some point. I'm, in all honesty, I'm not entirely sure. Um. But yeah, um, once we get that skull, it's in like another cave or something. I don't think there's a quest tied to it. I think it's just a skull that you find at some point. And uh, we'll bring it back here. And uh, when we do, we'll get to fight the boss, the big boss man. I don't think Mirak has a level cap either. I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Counselor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. Uh, did he say what it was about? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the Ash Spawn. Please, go speak to the Second Counselor as soon as possible. Okie dokie. Oh, and Lily's here. So I'm assuming our other one will... He must have dug out more. Oh, and it did the thing where there you are. I've been looking everywhere. she keeps doing this. She keeps showing up this and then not actually giving me the Your hands only. fucking letter. Uh, let's see. Another note from your friend Bravers. I hope everything is alright. Looks like that's all. I have to leave. Alright. You know what? We'll read the note next time because we'll start with that. But first things first. Hello, Glover. Any luck tracking down Esmond? Sure did. Uh, he's dead, but I at least found the formula. I told him not to head up there. Sounds like the bloody fool got what he deserved. Here, I want you to take this key. Head inside my house and unlock the door in the basement. Help yourself to whatever you like inside. I won't be using it anymore. Uh, how are things now that the mines are open again? I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Redoran Guard, so it hasn't affected me much. However, I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something we've been lacking for a long time. Uh, alright. Bring your weapons and armor to me. Let's head into the basement. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, look at all the Thieves Guild stuff. My dearest daughter, Sapphire. There it is. It's with a heavy heart that I write this letter. For years I've thought about how I could tell you this, and each time I imagined it would be face to face. I'm ashamed for what I did, and I hope that someday you'll learn to forgive me. Whatever you do, don't blame Delta for any of this. He didn't know. Oh my. Long after I joined the guild, I was sent to rob a caravan that was stopping at a tiny farming village not far from the border of Skyrim. When I arrived there, I was a day early and decided to sleep for the night in the barn of a pig farm. I woke the next morning when the most beautiful woman I'd ever laid eyes upon walked in to do her chores. She wasn't even frightened when she saw me. In an instant, I think we had both fallen in love. <laughs> I ended up living with that woman in that tiny little village for a year until she was with child, and then, like a coward, I ran away. I was a thief, and I didn't want to end up a farmer. It was a terrible thing to do. I didn't have the courage to return to that village for almost 15 years. When I finally decided to visit, it was too late. It had been raided by bandits and burned to the ground. Everyone was either dead or gone, including you, my only child. Years later, when you were recruited by Brynjolf, I couldn't believe my eyes. You're a spitting image of your mother, and I knew it was you in an instant. <clears throat> 
Only the gods know how you survived the attack on that village and why you followed in my footsteps, but I have to assume it was meant to be. I've wanted to walk right up to you and embrace you to tell you the truth, but I was still a coward. I decided to leave Riften instead of facing your anger. I said my goodbyes to Delvin, and I headed for Soul's time as far from the truth as I could get. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm sorry for never being there to hold you at night or to protect you from whatever hardships you endured. One day, I hope you'll make the journey to Solstein and visit your father. I don't know. I don't really feel like you deserve the record of visit you, in all honesty. It's my opinion, but, you know, I'm one of those people where, you know, you uh, choose your family by the people who are there for you, not the ones who, you know, just happen to uh, give birth to you. Or, not them, in this case, you know, been the sperm donor. Uh, Blackguard armor, which is yet another kind of Thieves Guild armor. Oh, yeah, great. That's what I wanted. Just the bucket. It's just the fucking basket. That's the important part of this. Okay. Then we'll just throw the basket in there. And then we'll go talk to Delvin again about this letter that we found. You've been a good friend to me. That means you got a good thing going here. Now uh, okay. You open the mind. <laughs> All right. So how long have we been going? Fifty-six minutes. Okay. We'll go throw the stuff in the vault, and then at the beginning of the next part, we'll head over young, to Riften and uh, talk to Sapphire because I don't know how long that actually you know what fuck it we'll go talk to sapphire right now uh because i yeah i was gonna say i don't think that there's an actual quest involved with it what is that for oh, that thing. i sit indoors or in a cave anyway. you know i don't know why oh you know what maybe it's giving me spam because like i started uh when i got my new phone I actually turned the notifications on for my email because I never had before because I don't get important emails, right? So I just check it like once, maybe twice a day. Usually once a day. But either way, I check it like once or twice a day you and then just fuck it, Go right? Ahead. Yes, actually. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. You know what I mean? Sure, well, but I think this Welcome belongs to you. I I can't believe it. All those years on the farm, and my mother never told me about any of this. Words can't even begin to describe how much I appreciate you bringing this to me. Here, take this. I used to carry it for good luck, but I think you deserve it more than I do. I hope we bump right. into each other again. So yeah, she just gave us, I do believe, a unique... Sapphire, yeah, she gave us an exquisite sapphire, which is worth five grand. Obviously, we're not going to sell it. We don't sell the flawless ones. I don't know why I would sell the exquisite one. Um, but yeah, that's it. You uh, you find out that Glover is Sapphire's father and whatnot. Uh, yeah. oh yeah. I mean, that's it. I, as far as I'm aware, you don't like nothing. You don't get any other like indication of anything that happens between. Alright, so first things first, I do believe Soul Render and Blood Scythe goes there. So that's actually another display done. Obviously the stuff up top is just stuff we put up there. Same with this side, that's also done. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I could change up my armor displays, but there's very little point to that. Uh, we haven't got any more black books that we can put out there. That's still broken. That's Murex. What is this one? Oh, that's the Mythic Dawn. That one's also broken. It's there. Oh, yeah, we need uh, right and left. So that when you stand back. Aha, look, it's together. Oh, there's nothing on this side, right? Uh, was that it then? I think so. We haven't got another. Oh wait, no. 
Do I have the cool Briarn skull? Asdol, Mirak, and Dukan. No, I don't think we got any of that. I think that might be it then. All right. So that little bit that we got to display, we're actually, we've almost filled this place. Uh, outside the Mythic Dawn, which is broken. Uh, and outside the stuff that is broken, because there's more than that. Uh, I think we got Mirax and the Black Books, and that's it, right? Like, uh, I guess, no, I guess we got the mask. Either way, we're almost done. We've almost cleared, we're, we've almost filled this place. It still makes me wish that there was a better one. Maybe I'll do a little looking online to see if there is one that has maybe a better kind of display type thing. But that'll be it for this part. Thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you on Thursday for more.